welcome to another edition of What's Cooking. My name's Billy, and today we're going to be making and doing cornbread stuffed flounder. So, what we have here is some crumbled up cornbread. We have a mixture of onion, pepper, celery, and dewy sausage in pecan. And in my pan here, I have some melted butter. Basically, we're going to take our mixture, we're going to start sauteing it about a medium heat. And we're going to saute this till the vegetables are translucent. The sausage is fully cooked. It's andouille sausage. It's a smoked pork sausage that is French in origin, but is popular in America in Cajun cuisine. Okay, now our, um, everything's nicely sauteed. Just going to hit it with a little bit of chicken stock. Take it off the heat. We're going to add this to our crumbled cornbread. And this will basically be our stuffing. Very simple. Just combine completely and the liquid will absorb into the cornbread. You're going to want to let this cool completely before you stuff your flounder. Actually have some that's ready to go. And at this point, it's going to take some of our cooled mixture, put it just about in the center, and then just take our flounder and roll it right up. Now, we're going to shallow coach it in the oven. You could also do this on your stove top on a low heat and a saute pan with a lid on it. So I'm just going to take a little white wine, put that in there, cover it with oil, and into a 350, <laughs> excuse me, into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until the fish has reached the internal temperature of 150 degrees. Been in the oven long enough. You take it out. You can see what we have here. Nicely stuffed flounder. You can take that. I like to serve it with an Old Bay tartar sauce. You can just take your favorite tartar sauce recipe and add a little Old Bay to it and some fresh lemon. Okay, and here we have andouille cornbread stuffed flounder. This will be available next week in our Beach Growing Cafe on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy.